This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart moments. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal life. So Benjamin is at it again. He wants to blow our cover. You want to tell us about how a woman behaves when she's planning to leave you. Yes, when she's finally give up. This is a warning <laughs> of what will go wrong if you continue repeating the things that woman is. Mm -hmm. That things you know that are hurting her. Mm -hmm. The things that have become a bone of contention but you have found a way to rationalize and reverse guilt. Mm. Mm, tell them. <laughs> you know, <laughs> today we are discussing a good woman. Okay. A bad woman leaving would not be a topic of discussion because that's a trash taking itself out. That's a problem solving itself. <laughs> Can we stay there for a minute? Uh, a bad woman leaving. It's a good thing. Why, why, why is she leaving? When you wake up to who you are as a man, when a man has married a crazy woman who likes to kick you around, use your money, yeah, is yeah. not even playing her role. Uh -huh. There's this a, a problem with many women that we don't hear discussing, but it's killing a lot of men. A woman uh -huh. who must quarrel every day. You know some women need a daily serving of a quarrel? Yes. They just contentious, just must scream, get upset over this or the other. And I had one woman conversing, saying she thought being a wife is just a chore. Running the house, getting the babies in place, da -da -da -da, cleaning. Mm -hmm. So because she defined her her wife position with duties because mm -hmm. they were tiresome she was always bitter resentful about it oh she didn't feel compensated enough for it mm. so she said she quarreled nearly every day and the husband was drifting away oh. it becomes a sore thing the bible said it's impossible better to live at the corner of a roof yes. not even the corner of the floor of the roof of the roof you better put a nest there and go there <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like a dripping on a rainy day yeah so she said Without planning it, she had to take out her frustrations every day by just quarreling over something. It's a very difficult woman. Yeah. She does not need to be evil. She just needs to be misaligned with her life. Wow. Yeah. Some define themselves as a, a housewife, and so they have no life out there. Yeah. So you are the life. Yes. Bring her news, bring her excitement, bring her refreshment. You know, whenever you go out to work, you have also taken a break? Yes, yes. So they're not taking those breaks. Yeah. And ask those who have to stay home because of our baby, stay home mom because of our child. Uh -huh. That lifestyle change is very difficult. When you're used to keeping it at par with the world, mm. just knowing what is selling, you are running your perfume shop or whatever business for clothes or something like that, mm. just keeping at par with who is who, what is happening, just... Yeah just targeting hitting goals there's a lot of fulfillment there yeah then they have to stay home for a year because of the other one the other one and the other one or just slow down just mm. operate within a, with a smaller diameter mm. just that, that, something like that yeah that is very disturbing enough now if you make that your life and this mm. man is having you keep suspecting him thinking he's doing that not talking to enough you don't understand why he's tired where he needs to keep quiet when he comes home mm. and you have all these stories <laughs> for him yeah so today we are discussing if, if a woman who is that contentious quarreling your daily leaves, mm -hmm. many men stay there because they are seeing their mini-me, the children. Yeah. And they're in, imagining a disruption in this life, child's life, they, mm. they, they, they get stuck. Mm. I hope I told you that a lot of people, a lot of otherwise giants, good men in particular, mm -hmm. are frozen in trauma. They are stuck in situations of pain and they're unable to get out of it because there's a price to be paid and they don't have the guts and the stamina to pay the price. For example, to walk out of a contentious woman. Because there are two children there, there are three children. He's hoping at least they can become independent before by, by the time they're independent, he's also too old. Yeah. Time has gone, the youth is gone, you can't start a fresh energy is gone. Everything is tied up with this woman, just have to and he saw the problems early, but he couldn't pull himself to say, even these children deserve peace. When they have no peace, yeah. they have no peace. Yeah. Yeah. And they need one parent to be at peace, and that parent must be me. I'll do the difficult amputation to cut away what is dying, to save the body from dying, all of it. Yes. I must do something, although it is painful. Yeah. And sometimes when you start working out, people consider their ways. Sometimes they can change in earnest mm. when they realize there is a consequence. Mm. Some people don't imagine you can live. 
even in normal relationships and customer relations, they just think that you are you are their victim now mm. because you paid because they paid you. Yeah. You find yourself refunding the money and they're shocked. Mm. They didn't think you can refund the money. It's like they, were, they thought now you are their victim. Mm. They paid you for some service. They can't let you work. It's back and forth. It's quarrels. It's difficult. They make it impossible. Sadist. Mm. The Duke of Marlborough, as more diversion, was a man who fought for England and they liked his work and when he retired as a general they, the, the, the queen, they rewarded him with a land and the funds to build a palace for his retirement. And the work began with a lot of fanfare and hope and it was launched and there was all this anticipation yeah. how it will be. Yeah. The architect was a, was a young man who combined poetry with tradition. Very difficult thing to combine anyway. Yeah. <laughs> traditional infrastructure with poetic nuance. So he came up with something that everybody could not imagine that this can actually be built. Uh -huh. It was supposed to take 10 years, the work, and all the mm -hmm. fans were there, the, 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 um, the work began. Mm -hmm. But the wife to the duke could not be pleased. They call her the duchess, the wife. Mm -hmm. And she quarreled the contractor of every wheelbarrow of nails, every cement, every stone. They, she thought they are wasting stones on the other, too much this on the other. She couldn't stay away and let the work go. Mm -hmm. And she interrupted the work so much it, until they went to court. The contractor sued them for damages, for fees and the other. They sued right back for the other one. And the, the work started and stopped endless times. The government got fed up, stopped funding it, kicked the Duke and the Duchess out of the parliament. Um, the work uh, took 20 years, and in the midst of the wrangling, the Duke died. Oh. Never tasted the palace. Oh. <laughs> the contractor took over. Your stories, your stories always escalate like that. <laughs> Don't tell us any more stories. The contractor <laughs> who took over the work followed the designs of the, 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 the architect who had been fired by the Duchess yeah. to the T and mm -hmm. completed the work within a very short time. People saw it with both mixture of happiness and sadness. Yeah. Happy they can see the building, sad that the guy they were building for <laughs> just married wrong. Do you know <laughs> the guys you wish well, you can't help them marry, right? <laughs> you find them with bad wives and they can't, you can't even talk stories because they're being investigated, they're being inspected, followed oh. around. <laughs> stories are fun. I have to go help the discord because the wife showed up. Uh -uh. <laughs> they're talking to uh -uh. Lillian. <laughs> Do you know, <laughs> let me tell you. Yes. There's a guy I, I, I once had, a friend. Yes. And he was married. So at one point, he was really apologizing for not talking to me over a long time. Now, I didn't have an attachment to him, so I didn't care. I hadn't even noticed that we have not talked. <laughs> yeah, you know. I was just happy to see him. Correct. But him, he was apologizing. So then he told me that he had been having issues with his wife, and she thought there's something going on between us. And so he had to distance himself to prove to her <laughs> i'm like that's a lot going on <laughs> on yeah. my side you know on my side there was nothing you know and 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 then and then he he, he would tell me i'm i'm sorry there's a time you texted me and i didn't reply and you don't even remember me i didn't text you but the conversation that happened between him and his wife was she told him that she had seen a text from me and deleted it I'm like, I never texted you. I, I don't know what you're talking about. And you're about. like, my friend, you're too much. Please go on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please go and work out your marriage. I'm so sorry. what do you think about the Duke? People told him, it's too much. You have retired. No point of divorce now. Just forbear. Oh, you know, life yes. is gone. Brothers, the Dukes of today, the warriors who have fought battles. I saw that news item that say that was showing the army men and military men who had been killed by their wives. Uh -huh. It was about three of them in a very short time. Uh -huh. And they were saying they survived the bullets the battlefield to come and succumb in the, in the hands of their so-called soulmates. That's what happens to those men. They survive bullets and fireworks in the battlefield. Grenades and real enemies. Yeah. They dodge death to come be killed by the one they call soulmate because the dukes could not have the courage to open a new chapter and say i must also 
give myself a chance to have peace. Mm. Then you let them ruin the whole empire and your relationships. When a man has a contentious wife, we all avoid him because we don't want chaos. Yeah. We don't have a problem with him, but the wife. Yeah, you're like, I don't even want to uh, endanger your yeah, life. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <being around> you. <laughs> even your life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have to explain, you know. So if a bad woman is living, that's a good thing. And the man should have the courage to say, good readers, let me reorganize, even if you're 60. Otherwise, you will not, you will not see it. What, well, did, what, did, what did he do so that she left? Is it, is it just that he detached and she's not getting the satisfaction Yes, anymore? a lot of time, um, a lot of time men wake up and stop feeding the toxicity. They stop over explaining who is that Lily. They just stop listening to she texted. Mm. They, when you stop feeding the toxicity and you start being firm, say, no, I'll not take that. Stop, okay. you know, no, you don't scream to me. Okay. If this is killing you, why don't you walk out? Mm. Can you just agree to part ways? Yes, I don't want to fight for the marriage anymore. This is not marriage. This is madness. So, you know, you're not... You wasted my time. Thank you very much. We both wasted each other's time. Ah, for the sake of it, you think children are enjoying this hell you're showing them? Look at the child. They are frozen now. Is that what you want? The man wakes up, learns to speak up in a calm way, to put boundaries, and she, she has no ground to continue staying there. That is what happens, and that's what happens. Many times she will not walk out because she's also weak. She may not find another person. Yeah, yeah. And she knows you are responsible, you are secure. Yeah. Uh, she also wants the social image of being married. Yeah. Many of them are hidden in church. When they're in church, they clasp their hands. They look very holy. And they pray very powerful prayers. Yes. One guy <laughs> said the wife used to batter him physically, and she would pray and fast. She would pray in tongues for hours. She was very violent. One of the bishops, the head of the churches, one pastor told me they would go for meetings. And they were aware he would have injuries. And that was a plate uh, hurled uh, by uh, the uh, wife. Uh, uh, Asufuria hurled. <laughs> a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> this guy told us, the bishop, the, the head. Yeah. His marriage was essential for his career. But the marriage was also killing him. <laughs> so in that organization, we need to be married to hold those kind of positions. Hey. And divorce uh. was frowned upon. <laughs> so, and they were aware, this guy would have a bandage. <laughs> no. <laughs> and when she was pregnant, it was worse. Now she uses the pregnancy. Uh -uh. It's an excuse for so torture. For <laughs> so, sometimes she's coming on a motorbike because she just hit the car key last minute. Uh -uh. One of you has gone and pick him somewhere. He, he lies, the guy is in the garage. But <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> exactly. It's a okay, let's, let's now go to the... Good wife. Why yeah. would you lose a good woman? Yeah. One, you know why. So we are not here to explain to you why <laughs> we are losing her. It is those contentious issues yeah. that have always been... Good women are long-suffering, but they're not forever suffering. Yes. At some point, they realize this is not changing. Mm. They're very hopeful. But they usually don't surrender their lives forever. Previously, when women did not have a life, their identity was in the marriage, and they needed to prove that they are woman enough by maintaining that marriage. And the, even today, they introduce themselves that way. Mm -hmm. I'm a woman in their own home. E even in the greeting. Mm. <laughs> it's a CV. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. It's part of the CV. Okay. That's how they would introduce themselves. They did not have an identity. Yeah. Apart from, so the man was part of her identity, and she couldn't split her identity, even if it's killing her. Oh. Today's women have an option. Yes. <laughs> they have a yes, life. Yes, yes. She can just... Do you know a woman can introduce herself completely without mentioning anything in her personal life? My name is Lillian. I'm a show host. Yeah. Some of you might have come across my work. Thank mm. you very much. I've seen some of your fans. Yeah, and this I like. You continue. Previously, you didn't tell us, are you married? You're a child. Mm. La, 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 la. Mm. No, it's too personal. Yeah. Today is a very legitimate life when I'm peaceful and I'm alone. Yes. Very legitimate. Yes. I choose not to bring another person into my misery and torture yes. them. Get a child and have to be handled by maids and drivers. Yeah. So if you know what you've been doing, coming late after drinking, the what offends your woman may not be universally wrong. Remember that. Your own mother may be okay with it. Her mother may have been okay with it. Yes. Other women may be okay with it, but she might have told you, well, me, I prefer evenings for family. Yeah. And you are taking evenings for drinking. I'm sorry. 
I just, and when I say drinking, also remember other people are not work. Alcoholic, a churchaholic, workaholic. You take evenings for work, yeah. evenings for church, fellowship, choir, praise and worship, kesha, anything that just takes away from us. Mm -hmm. You're coming at 11 from men's fellowship. Yes. So I can't touch you. Yes. I dare not. Yes. And those who are drunk, they can't talk because they're drunk. Yeah. <laughs> I can't ask you questions. I can't access you. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Those who are alcoholic, you know, it's because we need money. Can you see? And truly, they send you photos, they're at work. Yeah. But they're stealing the family time away. So whatever it is and does not have to be scandalous. Okay? Right. It's not always cheating that makes you lose good people. Yes. Love does not always die. Yes, uh, unfaithfulness will kill it definitely. Mm. But other things will kill it like negligence. Mm. Like ignoring what matters to me. The first sign is when she stops complaining. My friend, you are not winning. Many times people are advising you, oh, do this, oh, do this. Women only need this. Once you find a good-hearted woman who is committed to build you up, you also know she's of a different caliber. Yes. <laughs> they usually know this woman can survive without me. That knowledge yeah. that she can have a good life. And so many men are dying to have her. Mm. That she will be spoiled for choice when mm. she's ready. Yes. <laughs> you know, yeah. just that knowledge should warn you. Now, when a woman stops complaining and adopts courtesy rather than romance, yes. she's no longer really that excited, but neither is she angry. Yeah. When a woman is no longer so much into you, yes. but she's not anyway bothering you, the things you used to do and she will complain, she doesn't complain. Yeah. And she performs her duties logistically, <coughs> cooks the food, yes. makes the clothes clean, just gets the house running, mm. and, and lets you do you. Yes. The moment a woman used to, used to complain, get stressed, get depressed, is no longer complaining. These are the last stages. You may redeem yourself, but usually she has stopped caring. And she has started scheming yes. to make sure she organizes her life without you. That may mean all the things we have assembled together, I need to know which portion I, belongs to me. Yeah. And because you are not at war now, sh and you are, you are starting to be a little bit panicky, she can suggest small things that you can do them, thinking you are getting reconciliation. Just You are just helping her to work out better. Yes. Any time a woman used to be Asking what about this, the other one, the other one. It's not that you know a woman can stop complaining when she has outgrown an insecurity. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. When she herself had all these fears about her worth and whether she's enough for you. Mm. When you have reassured her, you have studied together, she has outgrown. You can tell her when she's just evolving mm -hmm. past unreasonable fear. Mm. Or you can tell when you have not changed and she has stopped complaining. Wow. You know very well you are crossing boundaries. Yeah. And she's not bothered. I was surprised when some women said in agreement, you have to drop conversation between women. And you, oh, is that a fact? <laughs> you know, uh -huh. they were saying many of the girls they employ in their homes wish they could have that kind of a home. And I, I couldn't believe, okay, I was asking what we were talking about. Because some of the girls who are hiring mm -hmm. are girls who don't, have not developed, they are not young either, they're just yeah. women somewhere, mm -hmm. mm, late 20s, sometimes 30s. And they're doing this, but they're saying many of them. When you hear how they, they still think they deserve this kind of husband, this kind of a home, this kind of a life, although they are not willing to pay any price or learn how to get there. Mm. So they, they they were saying the girls keep asking questions like, women who get this kind of men, which mountain do they pray facing? I wonder how lucky they are. Mm. So they attribute it to luck, yeah, some kind of a thing. Yes. Do they start asking? intrusive questions like what does Baba Nani like, what is, they're not asking that they can serve you better. Uh. It's like as if they, are, they, they can be co-wife as well. Oh. And they're saying many of them, are, not all of them, but they're yeah. saying you come across so many of them who think they can just take over. Yeah. The delusion that ex ex exists there. Yeah. I'm bringing that point in to say it's not hard to find women to sleep with even the ones who are being employed by your wife as assistants. Mm. And your woman can stop caring who you're talking to. I brought that because I had I also heard them say that because of that reason, knowing that even the very ones you are hiring to give them a life when men and women are very desperate, mm -hmm. you're trying to even help them, give mm -hmm. them, teach them a decent life. You train them to function in this kind of setting where they can work those skills now they can work and they can make a living. The women have made a living out of that. Yeah. Because they know to operate, clean up, go, do things on that. Many of those homes have a lot of similarities. 
Mm. How to clean those kind of floors? Yeah. How to just dust this kind of out of operation, walk, vacuuming, this yeah. kind of things. A person who has worked in those homes, like two of them, mm -hmm. they are more now easier to work with because yeah. training is headache, I'm told. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and there's a lot of cost. They break this, break that, damage. This. By yeah. the time you train, you have also paid off. I know. Yeah. Yeah. And they're saying, although you're trying to give this person any kind of decency, and they don't have any skills in training, mm -hmm. they would become your traitor at the snap of fingers. Many of them don't have dignity and character. Mm. So if I, if I have a woman, a girl like that, a lady like that in my house who I know, if, she, if my man winked, Mm. She would jump at the opportunity. Yeah. Why should I bother if I can't control the one in my house? And you yeah. have so many out there. Yeah. So yeah. sober women say, if I need to investigate you, I'm out of your life. Yes. It's too much work. Yes. There are women all over. And who I am as a woman and the way I dress you up, other women will desire you. If yeah. you don't have the character to protect what we have, yeah. I have no business being in your life. Yeah. That's why these women stop arguing. Mm. And let me remind you. It is too much work to keep investigating people and finding them in bed. Finding people red-handed, you have to track them for many hours, many days. Yeah. It's too much work. So sober women stop at flirting. They don't go so far as finding you red-handed. It's true. even too traumatizing. That's true. They want to find human beings nude, doing things. Even, even, even the journey of investigating and finding <sighs> one thing and then another thing, it's... In secret. It's depleting, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they just go by you entertaining. That's all. Yeah. And you know, even when the phone is off, the messages will pop. There's mm. some things you can't hide every day. Okay. Yeah. It will just be somewhere idle and they pop. Yeah. One guy they were viewing the TV using his phone, and then the message is played there. The whole family. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> the father of the family. <laughs> the children. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> so. By the time that you know, he's not really that tech savvy. <laughs> <laughs> hey. So, and I hope I told you cheating is a lot of work. Eh? It is. It really is. Keeping those secrets. Yeah. Planning things. Lying. Covering up where you are. Mm. Having to steal time. I, it is not worth it. It's not. Anybody who respects themselves, they want peace. Mm. They want peace of mind. And in time, your, your phone rings, you must get some panic attack. <coughs> Yeah. Any text, you must jump quickly before another person sees it. Yeah. You can't let your child play with the phone. You can't let anybody handle the phone. Your conscience is always grinding you. It's, it's yes. So the first sign is when she stops fighting and yet you have not changed. That is usually the last sign, although it is not chaotic. I'm warning brothers because it's very peaceful. when you lose this kind of woman, you will die of that regret. Usually don't get us kind of people twice. They will ask what happened with the other one. Yeah. Say, no, whatever you did to them, you will do with them. Yeah. And you're likely to play victim. Oh, she could not settle. Mm. Oh, she, she said was this. toxic. But you are, you know when you're lying, a sober person can tell, they can't tell text, they can't get the conviction. Yeah. And then they can't get corroboration from another person. Yeah. They just hear from neighbors, ah, that woman was very good. This guy lost. Mm. This guy lost it. That lady. You are talking about Mama Karo. The one who was. Ah, we will never know. We don't live in an island, and they told brothers one sign of when, when you're bringing women to your home, the, the one you call your home, and you're hoping to get married in, yeah. you are destroying your name, and neighbors will tell the one you'll try to marry of the things you used to That's do. That's true. One, one man um, separated, kicked his good wife out, and then tried to marry another one. Um, he, his family, when they were going to visit the family of the girl, the man's family had to source for um, uncles, like um, actors. Yes. Because his whole extended family boycotted the family. They say nobody can replace the woman he just lost. Yeah. And... The one th he was marrying was also not wise. It's easy to find out. Yeah. It's yeah. easy to find out. Yeah. When you're desperate, you may think, oh, I'll be different. When people mistreat a good person, my friend, you too. We said the other day that good people seem to come from the same human family. When you miss out on mm. one, nature does not allow you another one. Mm. When you mistreat one, if they just died and not in your control, that's different. Yeah, yeah. 
but a person you mistreated. Yeah. So the first sign is when they stop complaining. The second sign is when they move their heart to other things. Moving their heart means they begin to find their joy in their life. Mm. They increase their hours at work, and they are not, remember they are not calling hungry, yeah. but they, are, they look mysterious. There's a sense of mystery, detachment. Yeah. They will do their things logistically, and they don't miss you anymore. Yeah. The personal emotional connection disappears. And yet they are cordial, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. You can't tell people what is wrong because there's nothing wrong on the surface. Yeah. And you can plan dinner. Okay, you are there in the car quietly going for dinner, commenting about the weather, yeah. the traffic. <laughs> yes. Nothing. The, the spark is gone. Yeah. And now you see them happy with their girlfriends. Yeah. You see them happy with work. Yeah. You see them happy with their chama, with wherever. Mm. Whatever they go to, now that's where they find their joy in. Mm. That's a person who has learned to move on mm. emotionally. Mm. We say it, when you continuously do things that hurt me, you are training me to find happiness away from you. And that is dangerous. Mm. When you continuously do things that you know they hurt me, spending all weekends with your boys at the midpoints, mm. finding trips to go I don't know where and disappearing from me for eight hours, yeah. you're teaching me how to be happy without you. Yes. Once I learn that lesson, I'm no longer need you. Yes. Now, you have taught this woman how to find happiness away from you. Yeah. Remember, it is during this season of these two things that she also schemes to find what is right, her rights. Yeah. She talked to a lawyer there, find her any, whatever rights there, move this paperwork there. Mm. By the time she's pulling the trigger, her, her needs are secured. Yeah. She's not losing. She has gotten everything in place. Mm. This is a warning that be careful when you're no longer being asked questions. Mm. When you're no longer expected home by this time, when you're no longer expected to do this or the other, yeah. perhaps you are getting replaced. And when people leave you for another person, they may return. But when people leave you for themselves, they usually don't return. Oh my goodness. Yes. This woman is not jumping out because she's not leaving you for another person. Yes. She's leaving you for herself. That's why she's taking time to prepare. It's not another. Ah, is that person you're talking to? No. You're too naive. Good people don't leave you for another person. They com in fact, even when they're marrying you, they're not comparing you with the other person you're contesting with. No, they're comparing you with their own peace. Are you hearing what I'm hearing? They're comparing you with being with you versus being with myself. They're yes. comparing you with the life of their dreams. Don't bother distracting yourself with that guy you talk to with your boss now. Don't bother. Yeah. <laughs> Good people are so self-sufficient. They can exist for a long time without anybody. For a long time. They'll get into another relationship when they feel ready and they are proactive about it. They're not just impulsive and too lonely. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. They can manage their feelings. And they don't like the dizziness of staggering from one person to another person. Yeah. No. They don't want one mess and creating another mess. Yes. When you see a person that has started to be happy out there, they're learning happiness without you. And once they master that lesson, you become irrelevant. The only hope you have is to reform as quickly as you can. And hope for mercy for her heart to return. Because sometimes a good woman can forgive you, but the heart already left. And it was so exhausting, Benjamin, to detach. Yes. Ah. That to come back to that. And then I don't know if I'll have to detach again in future. When you count those things together, what they amount to is a person who says, when I weigh, it's not worth it. It's, okay. it's good that you have reformed, you're no longer drinking, but I wish you well. Yeah. Reform for yourself. Yes. And when a person tells you at the high sales, imagine I can't anymore. Yeah. I can't feel it. Yeah. I wish I could, but when I tried, when I used to, Care, you do not care, and my I couldn't continue there loving so deeply and suffering so deeply. I just had to let go so that I can have peace. I accepted that you are not what I thought. Yeah. 
and the heart that was once craved for you, now is just plain. Even if I stay, I'll be punishing you because you'll be thinking you have to do more yeah. to get my love, but it's already dried up. It may sound poetic, but it's very true. <laughs> This You've interrupted not, my days. I this, was in a days. This is not poetry. Many people have to deal with that and tell them, I wish we could be what you were. Remember where we came from. Just give me a chance. Just I'll do anything. Respond while the one who cares for you still cares. You say, catch me while I still care. Caring is painful, especially when you yeah. don't care back. And I can't keep suffering forever. Yes. Hey, that was a powerful show. I can't add anything. I don't have questions. Let me read something from before you say I do. Sometimes I think that all these shows you do about relationships build up to before you say I do. You're right. Because if a woman who is not married is listening to this show, she knows that quarreling is not the answer sometimes. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I like how you talk about operating with internal deadlines. You say, some people drag on a relationship for years, hoping for the mirage of a ring. As for you, three months is about the longest exclusive space you can give a man. Once the reasonable time has lapsed, you don't quarrel, you gracefully carry on. This technique works with the business principle of shortage of supply. When a man knows you're a free spirit and essentially a rare breed, but you're offering him a chance to be with you, he will feel compelled to take it. Very good. Don't be too abundantly available as if you can't have an option. Yes. Also, remember, sometimes it's the woman who strings the man on. Okay. Uh, sometimes the woman is the one who doesn't want to let go of this good guy. Although I was not prepared for marriage at this time, but I just he's just the one in a I million. I have never him. seen another person. <sighs> yes. <laughs> so you 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 just take uh -huh. in his affections and uh -huh. see if you lead him on, you string uh -huh. him on. Uh -huh. The solution for this kind of brothers is to operate with their own deadline of saying, "I'm planning to get married in two years." Mm. How does your calendar look like? Oh, my dad wanted me to do masters. Oh, I must finish this one. He will tell you funny things there. Yeah. You know, I wanted to A, B, C, D. Maybe we are in 2024. Somebody says, maybe 2027, 2028, there about. <laughs> At that time, you will find other people in that bus station. Yeah. Right now, me, I'm going with a sooner flight. My flight is now. Yes. Let me get. Do you know that people you have to say goodbye? Although the love is right, but the timing is not right. Mm. The love is right. And you must feel the pain. Yes. Obviously, we can't pretend, but we are misaligned in time. Yeah. I wish you all the best. Yeah. Usually, it's the one who is courageous who can say that. The other one begins, begins, begins. Yeah, it's true. And the one who is courageous just shuts the doors, goes on. Yeah. And later on, you come to appreciate, because had you rushed to get married, you are married in a bad mindset, not feeling like you are rushed, yeah. feeling like you are caged, yeah. feeling like you are not done with your freedom, yeah. feeling like something no pending. Yeah. A and it will come out. It will come out. It will. <laughs> so because of that honesty, mm. you come to appreciate that it's better you did it when you felt like it's time. Mm. So here we are saying the deadline should come from inside. <laughs> yes. So women who are not awake and say, he is talking about two years to come. Is there three years now? We have been here four years. I'm wondering why he's not formalizing. This has been five years. We have our child. Oh, I don't know why he has not seen my people. What do you think? How can I deal with that man? Yeah, how can I? <laughs> Yesterday I saw you on the live quarreling. Someone was asking you how to manage. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Why are you asking me how to manage? Don't give me that nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> manage your deadlines. Let people match up or step out. We usually say either step up or step out. Wow. Yeah. So let the timeline be yours. Mm. Yes. All right, get yourself a copy of this beautiful book. Before you say I do, the cover is done so well, and it's a good book for couples to read together. I guess you can also read it when you're married, just to know, just for the information. It's always better to know than not. www.benjaminzuluglobal.com. You get all his details, all his other books, all his work there, and you can also book a session with him. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. 
welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart matters. We converge to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, 